<laughs> lovely, lovely. Just tricked you there. That's got to be with you, especially on the time you come out of the And it doesn't matter how you like Especially when I don't Oh, Jesus. Good afternoon, people. It's PJT, rate my beer and my staff. <laughs> right, um, we've done a Vison beer, a, a, a Paul Anna, actually, both of them here. Mm -hmm. As you can probably see by the bottles, they're both Dunkels. One being a Vison beer Dunkel, and two being the R oh, Dunkel. And um, we've noticed before, obviously, this one's 5.5, if I'm right. No, 5.3. So it's slightly lighter than the standard Paul Anna. Yeah, I didn't think that, I thought it was the same. Lovely Paulana engraving there mm -hmm. in the bottle. And this one's coming in at 5%. Right, if I pour this one. Okay. You can pour I'll that one. This one. Let's give this a go. This is in your standard Paulana Weizen beer glass. That one's one that Michelle borrowed from Munich once. So this is like one of Michelle's favourite um, Dunkels, isn't I, it? I do really, really like this beer, yeah. Actually celebrated getting out of hospital one, didn't I? <laughs> yeah, yeah, it was the first one of the first bars I took you to, wasn't it? Until I got the price, I was like, everything was all going well in there, wasn't it? Oh, I've got some big sediment coming out of this one. Yeah, it's interesting, interesting. Look how different the colours are. Yeah, it's much darker. Right, hold on, let me get a shot quickly, people. Because that is really got a completely different... Let's say one, one of them being a, a Weiss and Dunkel, one of them's just being a standard Dunker, but Jesus, there's some difference there, isn't there? In the colours. I just hope that I can show that. Yeah, well, uh, well easy to be able to show it on this, isn't it? Should have got that a bit straighter. Can't get the staff people, can you? That's it. We've got to remember that light in the background. We really have to leave off uh, when we're doing reviews because it comes <laughs> through the bottle. I keep thinking what this okay, mad so thing. Okay, so it doesn't look right. So let's go on the colour. Wow. This really is a nice amberish colour, really, really hazy in there. It's just totally different. I thought that they were halfway similar. We know there's difference in the taste because we've had both of them before. Mm -hmm. I must admit, uh, for the Welshman, yeah. if anyone That's has any bottle tops, <laughs> do contact us because our Welsh friend is doing his bar. Well, he's not our Welsh friend, he's someone we know. So, and as you can see, this one is very it's dark. A really dark sort of muddy brown isn't it it's not as black as some it's, it's this has got that one. that wise and haze look i showed you it before if you see it again that has the wise and haze and it does have the wheat beer smell more yeah you've got that bready malty kind of caramelly sort of taste there uh, taste smell there with this one whereas i'm picking up a lot more Spicy, oh, blimey, yeah, yeah, totally different as you can see there. The head's not holding so good on, no, that, is it? It's I don't not. know why. No, it happens, doesn't it? No, I did really split round at the end. No, I saw you. Well. Um, so, it happens. Who knows? So, right now, one thing this is obviously in our opinion, isn't it? Yeah, um, we're not that keen on your standard dunkles, but. Your wise and Dunkels, you absolutely love, didn't you? I do prefer the uh, the Vise beer Dunkel over just the Dunkel because you get that more smooth and creamy kind of taste with it. You've got that really nice mixture of the the, the darker, richer flavours, but also the smooth creaminess. So, yeah, they do work a little bit better for me. I do enjoy them a little bit more. Mm. Let's try these and have a go on what we're actually picking up with. Give it a try, see what you think. Mm. Okay, 
It's rich, it's smoky, it's got a toasted kind of taste to it. A hint of spiciness on the end of this one. Okay, that's fair enough. I know that strut won't. I'll go on to that one. Yeah. That one, <laughs> I'm not going to comment on it. Be you're against Polana, you're too into Frankie. That is just a no no. Oh, yeah. Your smoothness, your creaminess, you've got different, a hint of caramel, yeah. and fruit there. Different level. Mm. It's like, these are just like. They, I find it a little bit too roasted, a little bit too, a little bit too harsh on the bitterness, and there's nothing there balancing it out. You do get a hint of that at the end of this one, but it's balanced out with that nice creamy malty yeah. taste at the beginning. It's, 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 it's different level, completely different drinks. There's a lot of you know anyway. For me, they've got no depth. These normal Dunkels. Um, we've tried numerous ones of them, very few of them. You could probably count them on one hand. That have actually been halfway drinkable. That's just that's just poor. <laughs> it yeah. I can't. It's got very little carbonation there either, is it? It, it just it kind just, of it sits on your tongue, really quite bitter and. Um, it's like some old man's rotten old smoky and smoky bitter. Yeah. bitter he's going to have fifteen years ago in the pub. <laughs> that different level. Twenty years ago, maybe even. They haven't improved. That is the thing with 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 the Dunkel. You don't get the flavours that they say mm. you're getting from them. Well, I'm not, in a way. This is different different ball game. Yeah, I really much much prefer the fruit flavours that you're getting in there. The caramel, that nice maltiness, mm. the smoothness. Yeah, I, I sometimes like like with this. I would. Struggle sometimes, although obviously I know the other Paulana really well. But sometimes you'd struggle if it went from the colour to know the difference between a Dunkel and a normal Boysen yeah. beer. Yeah, I just find with this that they have got that little bit more uh, spiciness to the backbone of them, and they have got a little bit of bitterness at the end. But they are balanced off really, really nicely with the creaminess, the maltiness that you get at the beginning. But one thing that we're, we're learning pretty much, well, we've been learning for a little while, haven't we? But just because you like your, your Dunkel yeah. bars and beers <laughs> yeah. doesn't mean that you yeah, other like those. ones. It was so funny when I first started drinking them because I was like, yeah, I love the, I love these Dunkels. I, I really enjoy them. We didn't know, though, did we? The I didn't re God just got into them. I didn't know there was a difference. No one told us. So I, I pulled one open and I went, oh, well, I don't like that one. <laughs> it was completely different. So there is a massive difference on in them they are they are much more a quiet taste they're yeah. nice and creamy or balance out this i mean frankie dunkel's probably still your favorite yeah as well as it's my favorite the reason i say it's my favorite i know you can all say oh he's mr france kind of fan but it's the only dunkel that i've had on keg and i've had over a course of time try but there's nothing wrong with that that's decent the other one just no way Pedro. for me I, I can kind of I can kind of stomach these more bitter ones um, just now because for me it's been an acquired kind of taste where I've drunk a lot of different beers and I think my palate's adjusted a little bit to those type of flavours. Um, but if, if I'm going to choose what I really like, yeah, it's going to be this. You're not even time. close, is it? I mean, when I had this, I, obviously I've been unwell, so it was a real treat for me to have beer and I was just blown away by how nice it was, wasn't I? Yeah, no. I kept saying, oh, I love this. It's so nice to have a beer again. <laughs> Top quality, wasn't it? So, okay. But as I mm. say, the whole point of this was yeah. that is nothing like that. It's not even close. And just because you like buys and beer, Dunkel, it doesn't necessarily mean... Then you're going to like a Dunkel. So, anyway, just <laughs> saying, for your information. Can I say, bonjour? <laughs>